Hello love, another review coming up. This time around it's Tongham Tea from the Hogsback Brewery in Surrey. It says here yeah, traditional English ale but <coughs> after doing some research I found out that this is apparently more of a bitter than a traditional English ale. So you know if you're ever in the mood for a traditional English ale but this might not be the best choice for it. But if you're in the mood for a bitter, maybe, just maybe, this is it. This is what you're after. Uh, and whether you like it or not, I don't know. Because again, I'm going to give my opinion. And if you want to try it, you can give yours. My opinion and yours might be different. You never know. Who says I'm credible? I certainly don't. But yeah, um, if you want to know what I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing the... Uh, the Irish rugby jersey from about like five years ago because uh, you know they won the Grand Slam today. Didn't they? And, uh, I mean, I'm not an Ireland fan, I'm more, I support France due to being a like 0.00005% Norman, but because of the one drop rule, I'm gonna like pretend I'm French because it makes me sound classier than just some dickhead from Liverpool, you know. Bonjour or bonsoir, whatever. It's evening, isn't it? So yeah, um, congratulations Ireland on your Grand Slam anyway. He's, uh, he's deserved it. So yeah, back to the review. This is the Hogsback from Surrey. Uh, I've never been to Surrey, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm, you can probably tell by the accent I'm from nowhere near that area. And also the, the, the lack of classiness and respectability that goes on here. You don't get that in Surrey, you get the exact opposite. But yeah, um, Surrey's a, a nice place. If you're not from Surrey or Britain, you know that Surrey's like, that's the nicest part. It's where all the famous people and the celebrities live when London gets too hectic. Factory for you. That and Bath, or Bath as they say down there. So yeah, on with the review. This is a 4.2% 500ml bottle. And it tells you everything about it. Our story. Their story, not mine. We sit beside the famous ancient chalk ridge of West Surrey, the Hog's Back. So that's, that's where it comes from. Uh, the first brew at Manor Farm was tea, traditional English ale, in 1992. Fondly known as Tongham Tea after our village. It was an immediate hit and has won many national awards. We are a small family run business and in 2014 we honoured the old hop growing tradition of the farm area by planting our own hops. We now have 6,500 plants in the field by the farm so we have the very freshest hops grown, picked, dried and stored just by the brew house. Scan to read more about sustainable local brewing or visit us to see the harvest every Saturday. Now if you want to scan this Maybe you could try it, I'll hold it for you. That way you can find out all about the sustainable local brewing. And if you want to visit them, they are based in Hogsback Brewery, Tongham, GU10-1DE, England. GU10, I think that means near Guildford. So that's classy, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, uh, oh yeah there's, there's more here. Obviously, it tells you it's a 4.2%. Don't drink regularly more than 14 units per week. Uh, don't drink when you're pregnant. And, um, oh yeah. Tea is a small batch of, oh, yeah, Tongan tea. is a small batch brewed with finest English malted barley, sunny grown cla uh, classic bittering hop, fuggles and water drawn from the chalk aquifers under the hog's back ridge. It is a traditional cr uh, classic ale, traditional ale, a malt forward taste with the hops providing balance. A lingering malt sweetness leads to a long, satisfying finish. I, 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 I nicknamed my penis Long Satisfying Finish. I'm the only one that does it. No one else does. Um, best with rich, full flavoured meat and cheese dishes. <laughs> Again, that's another thing I like to nickname my penis. Full flavoured meat and cheese dishes. No one's ever verified this. So yeah, um, the bottle's very ornate, I must admit. It's, uh, some bottles are a bit shite, aren't they? Because they, they just sort of have a, a, a bit of writing on the label. This has 
very colourful. It's got a pig. It's got another label up there, fresh on our farm. Nice pig bottle top right here. And it's sort of, it, it's a bit 3D. You can feel the, the artwork on it. So a lot of work's gone into this, which I appreciate. I like a good label on it. You know, it makes it more interesting, doesn't it? You know? Which is why I put like, you know, the, the thumbnails on my videos. I use Adobe and it's very fucking slow and it's a bit ropey but um, it gets the job done. It's better than just a picture of me back to a beer going. Isn't it? You know what I mean? You know, I want something to look a bit classy and sexed up. So yeah, uh, Tom Gum Tea. Oh, and it goes out of date in July 2023 so we've got another five months to drink this. Let's get it out of the bottle shall we? Okay. Why does this always fucking happen? Oh my fucking god. Oh fuck me. Ah shit. Oh this is bad. This is very fucking bad. Um, I'll be back. says, oh he's doing this deliberately for entertainment purposes, I'm not honestly, I would, it, you know, it, that, that was involved foresight on my part and I don't have that, no, I, I think it's the dog, you know, I think it's fluff, you know, she's probably getting in the fridge at night, grabbing all these fucking bottles and going, fucking, fucking, fucking dickhead, you know, and uh, this happens, yeah, she has been winding up a lot recently, last night, got home from work, I was looking forward to a nice big sleeping, on a Saturday morning, and I um, got woken up at five a.m. instead because she wants to go for a shift in the yard. So I go, let her out five in the morning. She goes out for a shift, takes her fucking time as well, and then comes back in. And I go back to bed thinking, yeah, you know what? I can still get her sleeping. So finally doses back off, and then she wakes me up at eight to go for a pee. So yeah, well thanks for that. It was fun, wasn't it? So yeah. Look at this. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's, let's try and get this up the ball fucking safely. Okay, you ready? Ugh. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get as much in the glass as I can because I've spilt half the fucking thing now. Okay. Here we go. Tongan tea. Bitter. Not English real ale or English traditional English ale. It's better. So, let's have a look at this shall we? It is a not very clear at all, very dark gold, almost amber coloured thingy with jig. And uh, yeah, it's uh, got a bit of a fairy liquid head going on. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. Let's have a sniff. Bit of a biscuity, malty, a slight malt vinegary smell, which you kind of expect because it's bitter, isn't it? You know, it doesn't get more bitter than vinegar, does it? You know what I mean? So that's what this is. So yeah, that's that's what I'm getting. Yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, this is Tongan tea. And uh yeah. Will it be Tongan tea? Or will it be Tongan S for shite? <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Bottoms up and up your bottoms. There we go. So. Bitter, really. Um, nothing wrong with it at all. It's got a, uh, it's got like a, a 
is for taste. I'd say everything I smelt, I can taste. It tastes like it smells. Bitter aftertaste, the hoppy aftertaste. Yeah, it is basically. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, lingering malts, a bit of a sweetness, a, a slight sort of a very slight lemon you get off it, but it is mostly just malt. It's just a malty bitter, bitter, <laughs> really. Um, the mouth feel is incredible. It's really good. Yeah. It's not too carbonated, it's carbonated enough, it just hits every spot. This is good. I'd recommend this. This is pretty good. I mean, I'm not a huge bitter drinker, I'll be honest. I'm more of a beer and lager kind of guy. Maybe the odd cider, you know, and I'll probably will review some ciders in the future. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But I will do, because, you know, uh, us, us Normans, uh, yeah, we, we love our cider, apparently. And, and I know this because I was looking at it forum on French people. Yeah, I don't know what was. So yeah, that's how, that's how French I am. So yeah, all in all, I digress. Uh, this tongue tea is pretty good. It's a good bitter. It's, uh, it's award winning. I don't see why. I've had this. And it's, if you like your bitters and you just want something that's not too threatening, but just sort of easy on the mouth, and doesn't have too high a percentage, yeah, give this a go. Tongan tea. Uh, I can see them doing well. I mean, they clearly have a good budget on them if they've got a label like this because some growing breweries have shit labels. I mean, there's that one in Scotland. I can't remember what they're called. Did you do that 10 shilling? Bellhaven. This is fucking boring as fuck. The bit of it. What the hell? It's nice, but the, the labels are just shit. It's like they just printed it off a of fucking. It, it, they may as well just have Microsoft fucking Word. <laughs> using that to print it because it's pretty good like but this is pretty good I mean, look at that how ornate that is all that green all that off white cream the orange it just mixes so well it so yeah that concludes tonight's review hope you've enjoyed it I've enjoyed it I love this uh, you know I've spelled most of it um, be back for more in the future very soon in the meantime signing out Take care, everyone.